God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So y'all, if you caught one of my last in, uh, videos, I think it was called Equal Work, Equal Rest. I think that's the one. Um, I, I mentioned to you that I was going to be talking about this title, Go Hard or Go Home, comma, I'm Going Home. Right. So I felt led to do this uh, video because I noticed that there are a lot of people who are spiraling because they're trying to keep up with the go hard or go home energy. And I think that in a lot of cases, is that if that's not necessarily something that you specifically aren't led by God to do, if you are not meant to have that mindset, it can not only be counterintuitive, but it can be counterproductive when it comes to the specific thing that God wants you to do. We have to do things at our own space and our own time. It is very tempting now to look at all of these people all of a sudden becoming rich and millionaires and stacking up this and stacking up that. But you have to understand what's most important to you. I'm not saying that we don't need things to take care of ourselves. I'm not saying that you don't want to produce generational wealth and you don't want to work on things. This is this is I'm not anti-work. I'm actually pro-work. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because you have to figure out what that's going to look like for you. And what's happening is a lot of constructs and a lot of things that people have implemented into others' lives, things that have been projected, people are starting to come to the realization that that is not working for them. And so what's happening is, is leaving them in a place of just feeling like, God, like I, I, I want to go so hard and I want to do so much and I want to be the best and I want to do this and I want to do that. But you're missing a key element. You have a very specific path. And I want to speak to somebody right now and encourage them in this space right here. You are very, very special to God. So special to God that he strategically created you with your with your own skin color, insides, outsides, details, fingerprints, date of birth. He just, he, he did all of that strategically because that's what he wanted of you. So I don't want you guys to think that the creator just out here creating things on a humbug. He just throwing you together just cause. When God decided to strategically make you a particular way, there was a very particular a very specific ideal that he had in mind. And it is very easy to get caught up in the culture. It is very easy to think that if you are not doing some of these things that everybody else is doing, that it is inadequate. And I'm here to tell you that that is not true. Now, I will be clear. There are many of you who are called to be in a space where you will be in competitive spaces and you will have to compete on a high level. And God will give you some strategic instructions on how he wants you to navigate that. But it was very important for me to say to you, sweetheart, if you don't feel like going hard today, you have every right to go home. Chill, regroup and figure it out and do it the way in which God is leading you to do it. So, yes, go hard or go home. Go and just go home. Ain't nobody mad. And anybody who's mad and anybody who feels that you're not participatory and you are not doing the things that they think you should do in the way that you that they think you should be doing it, they got to take that up with themselves because that's not your issue. I mentioned to y'all a while ago, and I think I put it in the short, but how somebody else feels about you, that's not really your business. You know, I think that what happens a lot of times, y'all, in this day and age, people are not honest. People mistake being blunt and saying things for honesty, but I know better than that. Just because somebody's blunt, that doesn't mean that they're honest. And that's why I always say, learn who God is for yourself. Learn how you communicate with your creator so that you can understand how to navigate your life and you don't have to be influenced by other people. It is a breath of fresh air to be able to influence, to be influenced by other people. Because let me tell you something, when you put too much weight on other people, you make them an idol. And then when they do something you don't like, you make it their fault. And that's not fair. That's why they have many people who are workhorses and overworking themselves, not to eliminate getting the work done, but literally approaching it in a way where it's, qu it's killing them off. It's making them succumb to things 
and do things that they really should not be doing, especially in the season in their lives. So I want to encourage you to revisit and reimagine. Think about all your goals and all of the things that you're working on, but figure out what is the best way for you to do it. If there is a way that suits you better so that you can have an optimum experience, so that your productivity could be on a level in which it's supposed to be on, so that you can be in position in a place where God can make the best use of you for his kingdom and for his for uh, servanthood, that is what you should be linking up with. You should not be linking up with something that is going to be contrary to that. And that is very important. I am specifically speaking to people who have been secretly feeling burnout You have not been wanting to tell people because you've put out to the world, all you got to do is this, 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 this all the time. If you have not, I'll make sure I put a link in the description, but I want you to make sure you go back and listen to the word about um, equal work, equal rest, because this is a partner word to that. Okay. So when I think about this from a biblical standpoint, and when I think about what this means from, uh, you know, just really understanding the, the totality of how God does things for us. Listen, there's so many scriptures. I think Proverbs uh, 3, 5, and 7 is about trusting the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And in all your ways, he will direct your path. I believe I said that full on correctly. If not, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 7. This is all I'm talking about today, okay? He will direct your path. And I'm telling you, for some of you after today, he going to say, okay, you can go home now. (laughs) You know, like you can go hard another day. Or maybe it's just not even in your destiny to go hard. It just might be in your destiny to get things done. And you may not have to go hard to do it. Again, I am trying to teach people. I am trying to enlighten people as I get enlightened. Listen, there is a place for hard work, but hard work is not for everybody. Sometimes God is trying to bring you into a season of smart work. Neither one of them necessarily are fun. It's very rare when people like the work that they do, but when they do, it's a blessing and they don't really feel like they're working, right? So that is something that I want you guys to sit with. I want you to think about it. I want you to pray about it. I want you to allow yourself to expand and hear God for yourself in this space right here. Listen to me, okay? Lean not on your own understanding when you're dealing with this. Do not obsess and try to kill yourself trying to do all this work and do all these things because other people trying to tell you to have things that you don't even really want. But it's because they think you should have it now or they think it should be like this or think it should be like that. As long as you are not violating what you know you're supposed to be doing, then you'll be fine. It's just not fun. It might not be conventional. It might be absolutely traditional. It could run the gamut. It doesn't matter. You just make sure that if you've been caught up in the hype doing something that's not really your thing, if you're not a workhorse like that, but you are a person who works consistently, you get the job done, you can take care of things, take care of yourself and handle your business, you do that the way God intended for you to do. Don't you let nobody else try to tell you how it's supposed to work for you. Because at the end of the day, everything is going to come to you and to come together in a place where you fully understand what's happening. I'm going to I'm going to talk about stuff like this a little more and I want to talk about it from a different vantage point, but not today. I'll do it another day. But for now, go hard or go home. Or maybe it's just time to go home and it's perfectly OK to do that. That does not mean you're lazy. That does not mean you don't get it. But sometimes maybe today you don't work overtime. Maybe today you punch out on, on at three o'clock and you go home and get you some rest. You know, maybe You can't be the go-to person for them to call anymore where they add a hundred extra things to the list of what you can do. And I heard somebody say this one time, you got to be careful when you let people know your capabilities, because if you let people know your capabilities on a certain level, then they can abuse it. So be careful with how you put your capabilities out there, because some people will feel like they have the right to manipulate those abilities to get what they want. And when at the end of the day, when you don't measure up or do what they want, it'll leave you high and dry. So I hope this word bless somebody today. I am looking forward to making some more of these. And remember y'all remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. I appreciate you so much. I am wired to inspire and I hope you are too. Oh God hits.